Hi, everyone. Two years ago, I published an article on my website, which generated over $100,000 for my business organically. In this video, I will briefly share with you how I achieved this and explain why we believe it worked. My name is Matthew Kane, and I'm the owner of Isudo Technology Solution and the lead uh, specialist. We're located in San Jose, California. In 2019, I published an article on isudo.com, and the link to the article is uh, above and in the comments below. The article is an in-depth explanation of Microsoft 365 migration and the costs associated with it. So let me just briefly share you the article. So here's the article on our website. The title is A Guide to Microsoft 365 Migration Costs. We talked about, you know, one of the reasons why we wrote this article originally is because Microsoft 365 was a very popular cloud platform as um, people were looking on how to use the, the platform, how to migrate their email, and what are the costs to migrate the email over. So that was very, like, it's a very time consuming process for a lot of people to find out, okay, how much is it gonna cost my business? So in this article, you know, we got so many questions coming into us about the costs associated. So we decided, hey, why don't we share that information from what we've done in one previous projects? So we talked about, okay, what is it gonna take to migrate your email and files to Microsoft 365? What is Microsoft 365? What are the different plans Microsoft has? Because you know they have very popular plans that we, we highlighted here, like the Microsoft Business Basic, Standard, Premium, and the um, Office 5 Enterprise E5 plan. What are the different costs associated with that? What are the features, the common features that they include? Then next we discuss, okay, now once you decide on a plan, let's decide, okay, what is, what is the factor that's gonna cost you to migrate to Office 365? So we decide, okay, the number of mailbox, the, ship, you know, the size of your mailbox. And if you have existing, like with the type of email server that you're currently using, because whether you are coming from Google or you're coming from another hosting exchange server provider like Intermedia, or even you have an on-premise exchange server, that will impact the cost as well because the way that the format is, is stored. Then we go on to say, okay, if you also wanna integrate with your on-premise um, Active Directory or with the Office 365 Azure Active Directory uh, to provide a single sign-on or a you know, password that you can use to log on your computer and your email so you don't have to remember two different passwords. And then if you have third-party integration, such as CRM or an ERP system, that will impact the cost as well. And lastly, we provide you different migration options because some of our clients have existing, let's say, in-house IT provider or IT staff. We'll work with them to buy all the back-end work and they can work on the front-end to provide, let's say, the end-user support. So we provide all these different options so that the clients can decide what works for their environment. And lastly is once you do the migration, what are some of the things that you can use Office 365 in the futures? You know, some people want to use it to do auto deployment such as autopilot, or they, uh, some of them want to migrate all their files from the on-premise uh, file server to the cloud. So that's the gist of the, uh, the article. And one of the key things is that Isudo specialized in, you know, cloud services, cybersecurity, and other IT services. And we work with growing small businesses and medium-sized businesses, such as CPA, law firms, and stuff, to leverage technology for their use. We present ourselves as a source for organization that can be trusted in the SMB space. What we have found is that, you know, majority of the articles that are out there are what we call lead funnels that requires that the uh, 
uh, reader into the phone number, the email address before they provide any costs. And ironically, our authentic and transparent article became one of the best lead funnel we have ever had. Since publishing it two years ago, organically, you know, we had inquiries from all over the world coming in because they were finding the article was uh, very helpful to them. And since then, we have replicated the article and seeing results across multiple source. And I'm preparing to curate pay media with my team to grow the results from these articles even further. So if you'd like to learn more about how I, to grow your business through strengthening your IT or how I use blog to grow my business, feel free to contact me, direct message me through uh, you know, the link below or schedule a call. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video.